What's happening guys? So, match preview. Hopefully you can hear me good. Match preview. Arsenal versus Sevilla at the Emirates Stadium for the return fixture, Champions League. Let's get it. So, we're coming off the back of a 1-0 loss to Newcastle, right? Now, I know this toxic, positive fan base, you know, because we've got positive toxicity riddled in this fan base, right? They'll look at Spurs getting smoked last night, right? And they'll say, oh, well, well Spurs lost, mate, and Liverpool dropped points, and so it didn't matter that we lost to Newcastle, mate. That's, that's, that's what it'll be. But, this ain't Premier League now. No. This is Champions League. Yeah. So we still got to bounce back. You know what I mean? We still got to do the juvenile. We got to bounce back, fam. You know what I mean? Because it's unacceptable for us to be going to Newcastle when they have a one shot on target. It's unacceptable. Yeah, we know VAR did what they did. We need, we need to move on from that now. You know what I mean? We need to move on from that. You know what I mean? Neither of us are happy about the outcome, but it is what it is. It was up to the players to still try and win that game. They didn't. So we've got Champions League and we're coming off the back in the Champions League off beating Sevilla at Sevilla. So this time it's a return fixture and they come to the Emirates. So they're the, they're the first club that we're going to face. It's literally gone back to front because we started off with PSV, then we played Lons and then Sevilla. And now we're playing Sevilla again and then Lons and then PS, PSV. So it's just, it's just in complete reverse. Right now, this game's not be not gonna be easy tomorrow night. I mean, we're at home, but pss, looking at the way we've been playing at home against you know tougher sides, you know, it's not gone in terms of performance. It's not been the best. The form of Arsenal and Sevilla has travelled in different directions since they met in match day three of the 23-24 UEFA Champions League two weeks ago. Arsenal won that encounter in Spain 2-1 before a rotated squad followed it up with a dominant 5-0 Premier League success against Sheffield United. But two defeats since have put Mikel Arteta's men in their first sticky spell of this campaign. In the most recent of those losses against Newcastle United, Arteta labelled the decision by VAR officials to award the opposition a goal as embarrassing. As I said, everyone's going to get effed over by VAR. It's just a matter of when it's your turn, right? It ultimately proved decisive as the Gunners would go on to fail to score in the competitive game for the first time this season, ending a run of 16 matches. Jesus. They'll be desperate to get back, to, uh, back on track here and tighten their grip on top spot in Group B but just two wins in their last six home European games against Spanish opposition, drawn three and lost one, highlights how this task won't necessarily be straightforward despite the recent head-to-head -head win. Sevilla are unbeaten in their three matches since the reverse head-to-head, 1-1, -head, drawn two. The most recent two matches in that period saw them concede just one goal, which is something that the new boss Diego Alonso appointed just last month will be keen to celebrate. His team have struggled defensively all season, managing just three competitive clean sheets while failing, falling 2-0 behind in the three of the four matches prior to the two-game run. Prior to that two-game run. Alonso will hope Sevilla's recent improvement in form can play a role in securing a crucial positive result here especially as they come into the game already three points behind second place Lons. But a record of just one Champions League win on English soil from seven attempts, drawn to loss four, which includes a 3-0 defeat away to the Gunners back in 2007, indicates they have historically struggled on these shores. Now, let's go on to... Um, who will not play, right? Questionable is Odegaard, injury. Stop the cap. We know Timber's not gonna play, 
Emil Smith Rowe knee injury, Partey muscle injury, Gabriel Jesus muscle injury, right? I'm I'm at that stage now, right, where we need to look at selling Partey Smith Rowe and replace replacing them like for like. That's the only way I'm I'm interested in selling them is if we're getting somebody that's as good or better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because this injury prone shit. We, we don't have time for it. We don't, it's not their fault, but we don't have time for it, in my opinion. But that's for another video. Head to head. Now, we'll look at our last five matches each. Sevilla and Arsenal, right? Last five matches. Arsenal lost 1-0 at Newcastle. Not Lost 3-1 at West Ham in the League Cup, which, you know, bigger fish to fry because the League Cup doesn't matter, according to some fans. Beach Smoke Sheffield United 5 0, our last home game, by the way. Beat Sevilla 2 1 at Sevilla and drew at Chelsea 2 2. <laughs> Sevilla's last, last five games. Drew 1 1 at Celta Vigo. 1 3 0 at Quinata, uh, Quintana. Not even going to bother trying to pronounce it. Drew 2 2 at Cadiz. I know I'm not Who? pronouncing that right. Lost 2-1 against Arsenal and drew 1-1 against Real Madrid. That was their last five games. So the only one win in the last five. We have two wins in our last five. Head-to-head -head matches. Obviously, the last time we played them, we beat them 2-1. Before that, when we played in 2022 in a friendly, we smoked them 6-0. 2017, um, in the Emirates Cup, they beat us 2-1. And then 2008, we drew 1-1 at the Emirates and lost 3-1 at their ground in 2007 and we beat them 3-0 at the Emirates in 2007. So that's our head-to-head. -head. As it stands, we're top of our group on six points. One's uh, a point behind us and then Sevilla and PSV are joint on two points each. But Sevilla are uh, holding third place which will be Europa League for them if they do not make it out of this group. A win for Sevilla would take them second level on points for Lons. And if PSV was to beat Lons, they'll all be on five points and we'll be sat on six points. A win for us takes us to nine points, which you look at it and you think, right, surely, you know what I mean? We're, 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 we're getting through this. You know what I mean? Beat Sevilla tomorrow night. We're on nine points. If PSV beat Lons, they'll be level on points with Lons and Sevilla will be bottom. You know what I mean? So ideally, ideally, that's what, we, that's what we'd want to happen. Well, ideally, ideally, us beat Sevilla tonight and Lons lose to PSV. Well, no, not really, because it, if, if Lons draw, they'll be on six points. PSV will be on three points if, if that if that happens. And it just means that Lons will be uh, three points behind us. Then we've got to play them next. You know what I mean? And then we've got PSV on the last game, so we, we can't really have anybody winning. You know what I mean? Because that puts them closer to us. But um, I'm going... I'm, I personally don't think we'll win this game tomorrow. I just think that um, our shaky form, we're going to take it into this game. Um, Eddie no threat here. <laughs> Probably won't do anything tomorrow. And I'm going with a 2-2 two, 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 two draw. And should that play out, should what I think will happen play out, that means Sevilla will be on three points and we'll be on seven points. And then we would need, we, we wouldn't mind it like a PSV beating Lons or something just to keep them as far away from us. But... You know, it's it it, it it is what it is, isn't it? It just is what it is. But we have to bounce back tomorrow. No pissing around. You know what happened at the weekend happened. You know what I mean? We 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 should we should be coming to the, into this with fire in our stomachs. You know what I mean, that's the good thing about having games during the week is that you you have that you have that period of where 
got fire in my belly now because we effed up on the weekend so we're, we're using this game to bounce back but let me know what you guys think anyway anyways like the video share the video comment subscribe to the channel follow all the socials links are in the description below and i will see you guys for the next video and the match reaction in case there's any video that comes before that i'll see you guys then i think i'll i don't know if i'll do a watch along because I'm, I'm away with work tomorrow i might do i might do a watch along if not no i won't do a watch along no i won't be doing a watch along for tomorrow's game um but yeah stay tuned anyway catch you guys in a bit peace